Intercession is a powerful thing, and Moses is our picture of an intercessor in the Old Testament. The Bible tells us that when the spies, the ten spies, brought an evil report to Caleb and Joshua, they, they rent their clothes and they, they tried to get the congregation to listen to them. They said, they said the Lord's going to give us victory there. But all the congregation bade stone them with stones. And the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of the congregation before all the children of Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, How long will this people provoke me, and how long will it be ere they believe me? For all the signs which I have showed among them, I will smite them with the pestilence, and disinherit them, and will make of thee a greater nation, and mightier than they. Now, some people might have said, Okay, do it, Lord. But not Moses. Moses was a very humble man. Moses cried out to God and, and he, he begged God to pardon him. He said in verse 19, Pardon, I beseech thee, the iniquity of this people according to the greatness of thy mercy. And as thou hast forgiven this people from Egypt, even until now. Moses begged God for mercy and to forgive the people. And verse 20 of Numbers 14 says, And the Lord said, I have pardoned according to thy word. Now, there would be consequences. The, the older generation would all die in the wilderness and they would wander in the wilderness for 40 years until that happened and then their children would inherit the land. What's interesting is that we read Psalm 90, which is a prayer that Moses prayed probably during that time. And once again, he says there, Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. Moses knew the power of God's anger. Moses realized just how fierce the anger of God was against the children of Israel and what he would have done. And, and yet Moses, he prays this, So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. You know, that, that's, that's an essential thing for us to do is to realize how frail we are. We're like a vapor. We're like a, a blade of grass that just grows up for a little while and fades away. We need wisdom in our lives. And the children of Israel, they, they just continued to do foolish things over and over again. And so Moses is praying, so teach us to number our days. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. That's what Moses is asking. Please don't destroy them. Please don't disinherit them. Please don't pour out a plague on them. Show them mercy. O oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. And so Moses, once again, we see that this word mercy. He's begging God for mercy on behalf of the children of Israel. Psalm 106, 23 tells us, Therefore God said that he would destroy them, had not Moses, his chosen, stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Now that is a fascinating verse of scripture, and it is very encouraging to you and I because God has invited us as followers of Jesus to his throne of grace, to find grace and mercy, to help us in our time of need. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. So we have this forgiveness, grace, and mercy that we can approach God. But we can also approach God on behalf of others like Moses did. And we can cry out to the Lord on behalf of others. And I just want to encourage you today. It's really easy to want justice. <clears throat> it's really easy to want for people to get what we think they deserve. But I wonder, I wonder if we need to be more like Moses and we need to cry out to God on behalf of others and ask God to show them mercy. Now, we're not asking God to let murderers go free without uh, being uh, punished to the full extent of the law. That, that's, not, that's not what we're doing. We're asking for God to show his mercy and grace to the lives of people to save their soul from hell. That's what we should be praying for. That's what we should be begging God for on behalf of others. <clears throat> this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will that all men will be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. First Timothy chapter 2 tells us that. I just want to encourage you today. Let's cry out on behalf of others, like Moses did. God bless you. Have a great day.